tengah ruang mana? Oh, pantesan jos banget. Me again, Julius. Thank you for visiting my channel. It's been a long time since the last episode. I've been busy making this project. This is a T2 Bakai, a jet trainer for US Navy and US Marines before they switch to T45 Ghost Hawk. When I first saw this image, this plane image on Google when I searched about RC jet trainer. Uh, I, fall, I fell in love about this aircraft and I said to myself that I have to make this plane in RC model and here it is, this is the RC model it is with uh, 1300 wingspan millimeters and 1400 grams flying weight it equipped with uh, retractable ending gear like this Okay, and it use 4S battery. Learn from the F4 Phantom that only can fly slow. I hope with 4S battery, it can fly more fast than the Phantom. And like usual, I use pusher prop like this one. It's a uh, NTM 2830, 1000 kV. It's quite powerful motor, about 30 about 370 watts I know you guys want me to make EDF version of this plane but I don't have the EDFs on or battery that should be this plane but if you want to support me I have just made uh, a Patreon you can find the link on the bottom on the description so I can buy the parts for more EDF jets and of course share the plane with you Okay, after this we will see how I build this model jet. Check this out. Print the plants on A4 Zeiss paper or you can choose the A0 Zeiss plants. Plants are available on my website paper-replica.com or there is a direct link on description below. Cut each parts and combine them according to the parts number. And then trace it onto 3 mm and 5 mm foam sheet.
here I am going to make a custom wheels for T2 Bakai because this jet has unique wheel shape. I use 7 mm plywood for the rim. For the rubber part, I use 10 mm black Eva foam. For bushing, I use 3 mm ring. Shape 3 mm bicycle wheel spoke by following the plans. I use 3 mm bolts for stoppers. Here I am going to make suspension for the landing gear. I use plastic from plastic tray to make the hinge parts. Punch holes before peel off the paper. I use epoxy glue to glue the hinge parts. I use 5 mm carbon tube for upper part of the landing gear. Eventually, I only use this suspension landing gear for the front landing gear. I am going to build the wing. This is not the first time I use 3mm foam, but it's the first time with the plans released. I only use 5mm for formers and frames and use the rest with 3mm. Make lines on the inside side of the bottom part of the wing for spar positions according to the plans. Sanding the leading and trailing edge like this. We need to curve the wing part like this with heat gun and metal pipe.
Continue attaching airfoil formers and spars. Cut holes for servo and landing gear. This part is a base for the landing gear. It's a 70mm plywood. Continue attaching ribs. This is how I install a servo for servo driven, retractable landing gear. You should use a metal gear servo for this. In the end, I replace the servo driven retract unit with a servoless retract unit. Install servo for aileron like this. Close the wing with the top part. Because so many surfaces need to be glued, I use styrofoam glue and only use hot glue for the last surface which is the trailing edge. Close to wing tip with foam. Trace and cut the aileron. Remove one edge of the aileron about two millimeters for aileron free movement and also remove 5 mm of the bottom leading edge of the aileron add foam strips to fill inside the aileron like this and then sand it like this
I use 50mm styrofoam block to make a wing tip. Draw center lines on each side so you will know which side you are working on. Sand it with medium sandpaper and water to have a smooth finish. Follow these steps to build the fuselage. Add foam strips inside to make those edges straight.
pay attention on this part. Both edges are not meet with upper wall edges, but glue to the base instead. Make holes on formers with solder to save weight. Attach the wing to the fuse last. Make sure the wing is straight and level before you glue it to the foam below it.
this is the hardest part of the build steps. You need to make sure the tail part is already curved well, and you have to hold still the part at least 2 minutes before release it on each gluing process. Make sure the vertical stabilizer is already straight before gluing to the tail. Use a pair of toothpicks to secure the vertical stabilizer. Sand all surface with medium sand paper with water before covering. These are basic steps to cover the airplane with wax paper. First, we need to cover the upper part first, apply glue on top and the bottom surface, and spread evenly with brush. Put wax paper on top of it and trim it to fit the size. Smooth the paper with wet brush and a lot of water. Fold the excess paper and glue to the back side.
After all upper part coating are already dried, patch the bottom side with another paper until all surface are covered. Leave overnight or at least 3 hours to let the paper coat dry. Here I'm going to make a canopy base to close the cockpit section. I use 2mm balsa sheet, so you can also use 3mm foam. Cover them with masking tape and paint them black. I use 0.3mm mica plastic for the canopy. Place the mica plastic to the front canopy base. You need to glue this part like this. Leave 5 mm hanging on the front. That part will be inserted onto the front part canopy that already glued to the cockpit.
Apply pilot and seat stickers on 10mm EVA foam and place them inside the canopy. For landing gear doors, I use 2mm balsa sheet covered with packing tape and soft wire for the hinge shaft. Use roll of paper for safe housing. I use elastic thread to connecting landing gear door to landing gear strut. Install the elevator servo on the bottom side of the horizontal stabilizer like this. And then add a control horn and push rod. Install the horizontal stabilizer and insert the servo wire like this. Then install servo for rudder. Finally, add control horns and push rods on ailerons. I use an NTM2830 1000 kV brushless motor with 8 inch 4 blades propeller and 50M ESC and 4S2200 mAh LiPo battery.
kayak gitu nya kokpitnya lepas kokpit mau lepas selawa aja santai aja om terbang ya om glide nya bagus nggak Juru parkir ya. <laughs> Kapal induk. Ah, beli apa besok? Diturunin dulu sih trotolnya, Om. Gua naikin roda. Aman. Lu mau ngerol? Tinggian lah. Boleh lah. Aduh, pala Om, kena pala lu, Om. Lagi lagi lagi. lagi. Ini pakai tiga es nih om. Enggak. Empat. Tengah ruang mana? Oh pantas satu. Guys, that's the maiden flag. I'm a bit surprised actually because I didn't think it can take off so easily. Only three meters, it's already airborne and shoot to the sky with confidence, with more than enough power. I think I love this plane. The motor power is enough. One more thing is the landing gear. I also didn't expect didn't expect this landing gear can withstand and, and survive a single landing, but actually still can survive until this time, and I think it will can survive more take off land because I will fly this plane again next week to try a new motor. Okay, the downside of this plane is the aileron. The error movement is too limited. 
so it can it cannot crawl because it's too limited. I need to modify the control horn and the, the hinge so it can move at least this angle. This is too limited. And the hardest part when building this model is the tail section. You need to, you need to constantly check the alignment from the nose to the tail. Make sure the nose and tail in straight line. Because at first I attach the tail a bit to the to the right, so I need to cut the left tail and bend the tail to the right so it will be straight line okay I need to share it because I don't have on the build video the landing gear is only one strut the suspension is removed only the front the front landing gear has suspension okay and uh, Canopy. I use this servo arm as a lock system, just like that. I use EVA foam for the slot on the back of the canopy. Just slot here and turn the lock, the arm, the servo arm. Okay. That's the simple lock. Alright guys, the next project will be T28 Trojan but in cartoon style. About 1 meter. And I don't have time for making continuing Douglas DC3. I think I will make a, a new episode part 1 for building especially DC3. Well, guys, if you like this video, consider to like and subscribe. And if you want to support me, you can visit my Patreon link on the bottom. And thanks for watching.